it's going to be a problem. Right. So, f first few words about who, who am I. Uh, I'm Bartek Gola. I'm one of the partners of Speedup Group. Speedup is a leading venture uh, capital group in Poland. We invest on on a, on a very early stage. We do only seed and uh, some early growth. By early growth, I mean deals up to three million zloty. We never do bigger deals. We got four investment ve uh, vehicles. We started the company almost eight years ago. We started with our with our own money, and um, then we we are widely using also public uh, funds. That's why probably we are also here. We have we have two funds with with PARP, and one with KFK, which is National Capital Fund. So so this is more about me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you a few things about venture deals and about mistakes I, I think we all make in, in, in this world. But these, this is the look from the seed um, uh, uh, investor perspective, right? So I wanted, I wanted to tell you about startup funding scheme and about lots, tons of times that, that we are losing every year and it really frustrates me. Uh, uh, frustrates me. So. Maybe I'll start a little bit different than, than you all expect because um, I quite often think about tons of time, which means money we are wasting year by year on, 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 reinventing, on reinventing the wheel. You know, when you get older, and unfortunately, as you can see my bird, I'm, I'm getting older, you, you, you tend to realize that, that your time is limited. And, and probably some of you realize that I'm always out of time and, and people try to meet me. I, I never have time. I always feel guilty that I'm not able to, 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 to be in all the meetings. So, so then probably on, on Saturday evening or, 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 even, or Sunday evening, you, you ask yourself um, which time I, I, I've spent effectively and, and, and which, which time I, I did not spend effectively. And uh, I just wanted to share that, that thing with you, uh, with you. So for the last couple of years, I've been a part of, of almost 50 investment agreements or investment deals. Of course, we don't have 50 uh, companies invested right now. We got like 30, but I've been a part of much more deals like uh, uh, buyouts, uh, fundraising, you know, lots, lots of deals. So, so, so I think I, I, I spent like a few thousand hours, like 10,000 hours on, on, on dealing with, with legal issues. And uh, I think at least half of the time has been uh, useless. And I'll try to explain you why. And um, this presentation is going to horrify lawyers. So, so it's, it's very... Titus, are you here still or not? Yes. So Titus is not here, but there, but there are some lawyers here. So this presentation is about to horrify lawyers. And of course, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid to mess, to mess up with those guys. But still, I think that uh, talk, especially talking about uh, early stage deals, we talk too much about law, law talk too much about the conditions, and uh, we don't talk enough about, uh, about business. So, so, so I just wanted to, to share that with you, that startup, Startups do not succeed or do not fail because of wrong investment agreements. They mainly fail because you don't put enough, uh, enough emphasis on, on creating the business. And uh, I just, I remember the first deal of a speed up. Unfortunately, we lost a lot of money on, on the business. I even don't want to recollect it. By, we have invested the, 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 the agreement for five months. Five months investing in agreement. And uh, after five months, technology has changed so much that, that, that the business didn't have a, um, no more made sense in, in that moment. Of course, we were in, pr in the process for five months, so we finally invested and we lost it because we wanted to do things on the Symbian where Nokia were dying in the meantime. So, so uh, it, it really, we spent five months on discussing absolutely ir irrelevant things, which were talking about every possible, every possibility that has been presented at very, very early stage while focusing on changing environment of mobile industry. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to tell you this once again, not to tell you that, that, that law things are, are not important because they are. And sometimes they are even crucial at the beginning of the company, especially when you talk about intellectual property rights, about how you structure your business in terms of selling and offering things. But I don't think like focusing on, on, on every deal and every aspect and every moment of, of your cooperation with potential investors is, is the thing that you should do at, at this stage. So, so um, this is the graph I've, I've created like three years ago. 
and it's a great graph, please use it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm using it in, in every presentation, I'm, I'm just changing the, the name of the axis or the curves, and it always works. So if, if you look at that, one of the curves with, with, with the way, way, however you call this, it's, it, it's a law. So, so I think at, at the beginning, the, the law issues are not important to the company. Once again, I'm not talking about funding the company, setting up the agreement how you will serve your clients, but dealing with your first investor, like writing all the possibilities is, 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 is not that important. It's, it's also not that important because probably it's going to change within the next few months if, if you are to be successful. You're going to have a next round investor who's going to change everything and your, uh, and your initial uh, agreement will be, uh, you can burn it easily. You, you can easily burn it. So, 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 so I think we should more focus on creating the businesses and, 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 and creating a chance for them to grow and then to have a legal fights whether it's worth one billion dollars or two billion dollars, then on 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 fighting those wars fr from the beginning between founder and, and an investor, and and I think this is something which is which is very important, and, and this is the thought I uh, I wanted to share with you today. All right, so you know I'm I'm, I'm asking myself a question: How much time I, I wasted of, of, over the years on on discussing the details of a deal that never uh, about the company that, that that never succeeded and 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 i'm asking myself can i change that in the future or what could be done in, in a better way and and i think there's a one very important things which we can learn from 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 the american investors of course there's few things that we can really implement directly but one thing is is should be implemented directly and the thing is standardization of the early stage deals so we shouldn't, I'll reuse that phrase all over again, we shouldn't reinvent the wheel all over the time, but to work on standardized deal terms in order to not to waste money on, on early stage deals, right? So one thing very cultural, this is a Polish professor, I'm sure you, you, all, are, you are all aware of him, it's, it's Professor Czapiński, he's doing a, a great survey called uh, um, social diagnosis and, and and every year every year he conducted uh, he, he conducts a survey about among 40,000 people it's a really huge one and he asked about our what we do what uh, what's our uh, what are our opinions how we work and and it's it's it, it's a very complex one and 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 of course he he compares it against the, the other countries where where similar things are are, are conducted and, and 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 there's one thing which is very characteristic of Poland. I mean, we are fourth the worst, fourth the worst in the in, in the whole Europe about uh, about thing which is called social trust. We genetically don't trust each other. We always assume that the person I'm dealing with, I mean, we as a Pole, we always assume that the person I'm dealing with is about to uh, to cheat me, is about to take my money, and so something like that. And of course, it's it's a nightmare when you negotiate that with someone because when you write an agreement when you write an investment agreement or, or at, at least a term sheet every lawyer which is very reasonable will tell you agreements are for the bad times it's not for the time we love each other it's, it's for the time that then we, we're gonna have a quarrel but if you assume that everyone you are dealing with is a potential thief or cheater you know the, the barriers you build or the obstacles or, or the the, the the threats you are about to 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 secure yourself are are that huge that it's almost impossible to to reach an agreement that lack of social trust has got a, also a huge huge impact on our in, innovation about a possibility of creating innovative companies why because i i, I think the, the the lack of the lack of trust is crucial for creating uh, for 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 believing in innovation there is another um, sentence i i love it very much that trust is a is a bet taken of un on uncertain future de decisions actions taken by other people so so if we don't trust each other how can we work on 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 innovative businesses i, I will explain that later right uh, right now so if the whole innovation is about un uncertainty so i'm um, I'm going to create something very often to to us as, as, as to a fund comes a, a, a young entrepreneur saying 
or I'll give you the example of a Google, which is always great because we all love that example. So, group of two students uh, come to an investor says, I'm going to search the internet probably very well. I don't know how big the internet will be and I've got no bloody idea how to make money on that. So that was more, more or less the pitch probably that Larry Page or Sergey Brin were, were doing in front of the, of the first investor. So it's a really challenge for an investor. Invest in the company with no business model. And it happened when we talked to Google. And, and it, it happens also in Poland when we create something innovative that we don't know if we are able to create it even. And then we, of course, if I don't know if I'm able to create it, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to create a business model because we, we don't know whether people are, are willing to pay for that. So, so it shows the level, the level of, uh, of uncertainty which is connected with, with, with the whole innovation. So if you add to that the lack of social trust and the feeling that everyone who, who is coming to me is about to cheat me, you're never going to do anything innovative because, because probably that Sergey Brin uh, and, and Larry Page are coming and cheating you and they will never build anything which is going to search on the internet quickly, uh, seamlessly and, and uh, with, a, with, a, with a huge accuracy. That's why that social trust is so important. Of course, of course there is one very, very bad thing about that. Changing social behaviors takes generations and probably it, it has nothing to do about our actions, of course, everyone should probably be a little bit more optimistic about the the other person, and uh, and I hope you we do not assume that that everybody is about to to cheat you. But and anyway, it's gonna take month or uh, it's gonna take years, if not generations, to change that. So uh, I think we should focus on reducing the number of battlefields. So if we have if if every meeting, if every business deal is a battlefield, and I would, I would reduce the number of battlefields by saying let's focus on the business, let's focus on that aspect of the business that is innovation which is a, a danger by its own but not focus on the legal aspects. And I think great thing about American market, that, that just one example, is that they never discuss or quite rarely discuss evaluation at early, at early stage. Like let's say there's a standard, standard valuation for early stage company and we don't discuss whether it's one, two, or three, or four million, which, which, which makes it all, all easier. So, my 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 uh, thing, I, I, the one thing I want to talk to you about today is a single termship initiative. So, I, I think as a whole market, as a whole industry, we should work together on a single termship initiative, like creating a standard termship. It doesn't mean that it has to be the same for everyone, but at least has the same elements which we can negotiate and focus on, but not reinvent the wheel all the time in thousands of rooms in the same time in the same country, because it's just wasting of it's just wasting of time. Of course, it, it, it's not my idea. There is a uh, there's an organization called Seed Camp. It's a it's a it's a London-based accelerator, pretty successful. They organize events all over the world. I think even today, Seed Camp Berlin is, is is taking place in Berlin, and they've got like a standard standard term sheet which is accepted by all the funds who want to invest in, in their company. So, uh, so I think how easier would it be for, for us not to talk with the entrepreneurs about all the things from the beginning but just to say all right we, we all agree that this is a standard term sheet of course we have to deal with the with the specific variables but we don't have to reinvent and talk about it one, once more. Is it possible? Of course it is possible and I think it's even necessary. Uh, the only thing which is important, it shouldn't be done either by funds only or by, or, or, or by entrepreneurs. I do believe that, that organizations like, like PARP can help us. I do believe like there are some even lobbying organizations about Polish startups who has just been funded this week or the week before. And I think it's a great initiative to, to talk about it, to have a standardized term sheet. Because success of your, success of your company, success of your, of your business idea, does not rely of the, on the tones of hours you're going to spend with lawyers on, on discussing every detail. If we could move that effort toward creating businesses, creating value for our customers, acquiring first one, having money, having, having users, would be much more efficient than spending the time. Right. How to do this? Um, of course, I'm not willing to write the document here. And uh, that would be uh, counter counterproductive because it would be just a one-site uh, 
just a VC perspective and of course it, we need perspective from all sides so uh, I hope I can inspire you to do it one I, I, I hope that Boris Muschelak from, from Southern Poland is somewhere here at, at least he's been here in the morning so I can talk to him whether it's possible to, to organize that and um, I think we as a speed up are even able to to, to have some funds to, 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 to hire great lawyers to, to, to write something like that. And, and I think it would be great in within the next few months we could create something like that which would be preferred by PARP, by KFK on, and accepted by other funds. That would be some, some kind of a scheme that everybody could operate on the market. All right, so term sheet, unlike final investment agreement, which is always more complex, does not have to be reinvented each day in hundreds of rooms all over the world. I'm, I'm telling it probably for the fourth time today, but I really want you to, to, to focus on that. In, and, and if there is one thing you're going to take away from here, and, and remember after that speech, that would be that, that sentence. Oops, I, I again mess with lawyers, but I, I think there are so many better ways for, for lawyers to work for our businesses, like, like, like creating a, a good fundament for, for, for copyright, for, for protecting our, our rights against those who are about to, to, to copy our businesses, than the then initial moment of meeting between an, a, a, an entrepreneur and, and the founder would be better. I think that, I, that, that there are only six things which need to be determined. Only of course, you will you will, you will realize that it's not only because, but, but but there are things variables which need to be taken into account to 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 create a, a good term sheet. First one, of course, is general conditions. It's the easiest, but the hardest at, at the same time because general conditions are how much money is somebody planning to invest in your business, more or less. Like it's either it's 100k, 500k, or three million. So it's of, of course it's 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 a very important thing to. To, to set up. It, it, it's not that difficult, but the next part is, is very difficult because you're going to ask yourself how much shares am I willing to, to issue? Am I, am I going to give away for that investor in, instead of that money? And it, it, it's of course, it cannot be standardized and it shouldn't be standardized. I'd love to have the American think either to do some convertible debt, which is converted in the price determined later, or to say, or, or to say that every seed deal is about 2 million zlotych, every I don't know, MVP deal or, or first revenue deal is about that, but I, I think it, it would take us uh, years to, <laughs> to do that. So, so, so I would just say we don't have to determine that each fund can, can do it pretty, pretty well. But uh, these are the general things. Of course, general purpose of the investment ne needs to be uh, shown. I mean, what generally the money are, 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 are to be spent on either it's uh, IT development or marketing or something. So it, it, needs, clearly pre pre it needs to clearly pre present the intentions of both sides. Investor who is going to invest money and the, and then the entrepreneur should present how he's going to use that money in order to create value in his company. Of course, there should be an intention uh, de described by the date to, to which both sides are about to sign the final, the, the final agreement. This is these are general conditions. Easy to write here, difficult to, to, to deal with your investor. All right. The other thing is IPR. IPR is intellectual property right. So usually at the seed deals, business looks like that. So you get two sides. On the, on the one side, you get the founders who quite often doesn't have any money. I mean, I mean in terms of revenue, in terms of business history, any, and any bookings. So sometimes there is no even company. Quite often we set up an a new entity. So, on the other hand, you have money, and on the other on the other hand, you have intellectual property rights. Right. So, so the whole the whole deal is about uh, finding the, the 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 proper balance between those two things. But from 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 the investor perspective, it's crucial for th that you describe what you really what's your real input into the com into the company. I mean, if you have a patent presented, if you have a piece of a code presented. If it's just an idea, let's describe it. It's crucial for, for, for everyone to, 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 to put it very precisely, to understand that nothing, uh, this is very, uh, this is the investor perspective. We are always afraid that, that we call it something is left behind. So we invested in the company which doesn't have all necessary elements to, to create the, to create the, the business. So like there is something left, like there's a piece of technology which, which hasn't been 
uh, uh, implemented into the company by, by the founders and the company cannot exist without it. Of course, there was a huge Skype issue before Microsoft bought it, like the part of the company hasn't been sold to eBay and that's why eBay couldn't use it. Of course, it's just an extremum, but, but this is more, more or less what we are talking about. You are, if you're doing a seed deal and if you're setting up a new company, you have to be able to explain clearly what's your international what's your intellectual property rights that you are getting your shares for because it's easy to evaluate things for for, for money but on the other on the other hand even on, even according to polish law the uh, the, uh, the court who registers your company needs to say that you can use it as an in in polish in polish we use, we use the word aport which means something that it's that it's uh, valid to to get the shares for right so IPR con contribution by founders needs to be clearly described. Uh, third thing which needs to be clearly understood is, comp is, is company uh, governance. Of course, we are talking about very small companies, but still you have to clearly determine who, who has the right and who is on the board. And once again, for, for those of the friends who are uh, American or British, we, we use more probably, it, it, I think it's a French or, or German law, we, in, in, uh, by terms of a board, we, we mean somebody who's running the company, who's legally entitled to take decisions as a company. So, 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 so it's not like a board of directors where you have someone who is rather advising than acting. In, in, in Polish law, board is a C president of the board is a CEO, is somebody who manages the company. And of course, the other thing is supervisory board. As um, clearly to understand, it's it's more to supervise, and supervisory board cannot act as a as a as a normal board. Supervisory board cannot take any decisions on behalf of the company. This is something important over here. You can see my personal opinion because I've I've, I've also underlined it, and, and it's read. It's 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 a it's it's a fund state of view, state of view. Fund state of view is that board belongs to founders. But the supervisory board should be about uh, investors and should be about external advisors like consultants, like somebody who can help the company not on a daily basis, but to help to, to create and, 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 and generate an extra value. Of course, there is one thing you have to realize that super, according to Polish law, supervisory, supervisory board has the right and the power to change the board. So this is also important. This is always important part of our negotiations when founders realize that if they don't have a majority in the board, they can be easily, or theoretically, can be easily um, cut out of the board. Yeah, which, which, but there is one thing you have to realize. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not judging here which situation is the best. One thing important: your company. At the very early stage, cannot be. Uh, you are your you are your company, and and, and we cannot run in run in instead of you. And it's the worst nightmare for for, for the investor for the investor to change the board of the early stage company because it probably means that your investment collapses. But still, our preferred situation is that the board, zarząd in Polish, is 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 in is in favor of founders. And the supervisory board are more independent people, of course, founders also should have their rep representation, but the supervisory board is the place where investors or some external advisor, uh, advisors could, could influence company, not on, the not on the daily basis, but on the, from the supervisory level. Once again, it's slightly different than in British or, or American law. And uh, there are three things which are always difficult, uh, the, the drag along, tag along, and I'm not sure if it's word in English, right of precedence, which is uh, prawo pierwszeństwa, right of precedence. So there are two things, D drag and tag along are, are about, and this is also my personal opinion, one more, so, 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 so this is a, a VC point of view. Um, first of all, fi financial investors cannot be left alone at the, the early stage company. We are not talking about a coal mine. We are not talking about a company who has 10,000 square meters of a great office in a great place in Warsaw. We are talking about a company who has only intellectual property. So that company without founders means nothing and is, and is worth nothing. So investor will always want you. 
reasonable investor i think will always want you to keep you in the in the company as long as he is a part of the company so you will not be able to share to to, to sell your shares without your investors because it's our again it's our nightmare to stay in the company without funders on the other hand investor investor needs a liquidity investing money in startups it's hard from few reasons one of the reasons is that that it's uh, that 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 the that it's uh, I'm not sure if I if I can uh, translate it directly, but it's it, it's it's not it, it's not liquid. You can't cash out of it overnight. It, they are not listed on, on 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 the stock exchange. You can't sell it. It's difficult. So, fund hate the situation when when their liquidity is by anything by any mean limited. And liquidity can be limited by the fact that if the fund has a minority of the of, of the shares of the, in the of, of the company, and in most of the cases in our in our scenario, like 80% of, of the cases, we got a minority. Uh, we are a minority shareholder, and uh, there is an investor who wants to buy the company, which is our goal because fund goal is to buy shares and and sell them in the future. That's our business. And uh, in, in investor says, "All right, I, I would buy this company." But I want majority. That's what usually final investors want because they want to uh, control the business. And then our minority package would be useless. That's that's why we want to have a tag along, which allows us to force you to sell your to force you to sell your shares on on the equal conditions with us. It's always a very difficult moment for founders because. Because we have, we don't. Uh, we always assume that we are about to cheat each other, and 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 you will also, and and you will of course assume, so that that greedy VC is going to have some fake cheap offer, and is going to force me to sell to a, you know, fake company, and then sell 100% later, by, you, you know, with with extra with extra money. Of course, that's very bad if you are dealing with people, whom you. Uh, suspect that they can do things like that but still important thing which which should refrain your investor from doing that is right of precedence prawo pierwszeństwa in polish it means that if if that you or somebody else shown by you presented by you can execute that offer against the investor so if i'm coming to, if i'm saying to you let's assume that we get a business together i got 3% look at 70 and i'm saying i've got an investor which has which want to pay like two million zloty for your shares, I got the right to 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 to. You have to you have to sell the shares. You can say, all right, this is very cheap. This is another Mister, and he he is buying your shares at at the same price. So, of course, it's complicated. It quite rarely happens. And remember, in the startup, startups are extremely ra rarely bought against their founders because they never. Early stage, late stage companies can survive without their founders. Early stage companies cannot. That's why I'm telling you: if you're an early stage, don't, don't bother about that. It's it's not going to happen. Nobody's going to buy your company against you, because it's not going to work without you. So sometimes even, this is something from from our perspective. In all our companies, we got tag and drag along, and if if it comes to an acquisition of the, and the founder d does not want to sell the, the company to the company X Y Z. We are not able to do this because even if we have the legal right to to to, to force him to sell his uh, his shares, the new investor is not going to do it against him. So this is a good thing about not having real estate in, in your company because thus you would be forced and somebody will sell your your real estate. If 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 you are dealing with intellectual properties, nobody will buy your company against you as a founder. Because it's it's it, it it reduces the the value of the company and, and nobody will want to do it. There's one important thing which also you probably you, you will find and should be, in my opinion, my personal opinion, included in the uh, hopefully uh, up, upcoming standard term sheet is a, is a liquidity preference. Liquidity preference is something which funds are, are using to protect their money, because investing in startups it's so risky. Like 60% of our investments die, uh, goes to hell. I mean, they simply bankrupt. So we want to be sure. Well, 
sure it's a, it's a good word we it, it, it's a wrong wording um, i mean we, we do everything and and we didn't invent it and it, it has been invented uh, somewhere else uh, in, uh, around uh, palo alto so it, it, it's like that that, that we want to be sure that that we have a liquidity preference how it works liquidity preference works like that if there is an exit and we all agree that such exit can can uh, can be realized investor gets his money first so let's assume that I invested in a company 100 zlotych. I got 30% of the company once again, and we are selling the company for 200 zlotych. Just the example, $200. So I get first my 100k, and the rest goes to you. So I get more than pro rata from from my shares. So this is something which which again is uh, this is something which is uh, I, th I think a must. And it's uh, it would be against the market if you wouldn't agree on, on on offering that to your investor, of course. So, quite often when you w when we all are so excited about the huge valuation of the companies or, um, abroad in Western Europe or in the States, we don't we don't realize that they all have a, that all investors have have liquidity preference. So the the whole valuation is a little bit artificial, because anyway investors will get their money first. The only question with the liquidity preference is what is the return rate guaranteed by liquidity preference of course guaranteed only for those home com companies who succeed but because if the company failed there is no liquidity preference because there is nothing probably to sell out of the liquidation or quite often maybe a domain maybe something like that but anyway i think like the it should be like six percent so 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 we should be we should have the guaranteed profit by six percent um, uh, annually added th six percent annual i know that there are very good funds who who, ex who, who expect 30% annually. The only question you have to take into account is that, once again referring to the example I gave, I invested 100 zlotych, we sold the company for 200 zlotych. So the, the bad execution from your perspective of, of liquidity preference, and also in my opinion unfair, un, unfair execution of, on, on liquidity preference is that 200 zlotych. I got my hand, my, my 100 zlotych plus plus my annual return rate. So let, let's assume that it's been after a year. So it's 106 zlotych, and the rest goes to you. Sometimes f funds executed in the other way. 106 six came to me, and the rest we divide pro rata. So at the end you finish with the 70 zlotych, and I got 136, which is unfair in my opinion. But this is something which which, which cannot be probably. Uh, set up in the final in the final document in the standardized term sheet, but it should be, uh, at least few possibilities uh, should be determined. Uh, determined, right? So this is a very very di dysfunctional tool to to protect investor uh, financial investors, but still, in my opinion, inevitable, and it's widely used all over the world. And then we, I'm not sure, probably we got only like five percent of the deals when we don't have that 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 think and it's and, and it's because these deals has been made when we've been stupid enough not to do it so we use liquidity preference and i think liquidity preference is something that has always been it, it needs to be a standard because otherwise you will not be able to attract the other investors to come to market to give their money to to venture capital firm and this money will not be transferred into your businesses Last but not least, it's, ex it's ex exclusivity peri period. Exclusivity period is something uh, that uh, the moment you sign the term sheet, you exclude yourself from, from the market. So it, it always, and then of course it works in two ways, but if you are talking to two or three funds, I, I hope your, your business is good enough to, to do it, and probably it works like that, that the best businesses are, are, are being uh, attacked by few funds right now. Which is great, which is good. I think the moment you sign the, the the term sheet, the moment you sign the term sheet, you should exclude yourself from the market at least for the time determined in the in the term sheet. So it means we give ourselves usually we, it takes six eight weeks in our case to close the deal, to find to find to 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 sign the final agreements. In the meantime, funds can can do a kind of a due diligence process and, and, and due diligence is about spending the money because we have to hire, I don't know, some accountancy firm or, or legal or, 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 or lawyers who are very necessary at this stage just to check if your existing company 
whether everything is as you stated in 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 your pitch deck or in your document so these are the things six things i have described which should be the part of the standardized term sheet once again the bad news it doesn't mean that you will not have to negotiate but you will negotiate the business uh things only and will not have have to focus on all all the other things which are i think are once again irrelevant in that early stage of a, of a business so if i could sum it up for you i would say we need standards to avoid reinventing the wheel once again reinventing the wheel and and, and we do it all over i mean we, we do it all the time in the moment we, we we are chasing the deal with few other funds and i think it takes so long because there's no standardized term sheet everybody tries to, to try uh, everybody tries to to, to play, including us of course tries to, to to play the wise man everybody tries to present his wise opinion and law tricks which is nonsense and we are spending weeks on negotiating the easy term sheet instead of spending a weeks of either due diligence that business or creating a value by working with that business so we need standards there is a second thing there is so much uncertainty at the seed stage that i think that there is no point in building complicated documents they will change anyway if you have the other stage investor like which i of course which probably means that your company is growing because very often growth needs cash so so you have with with your seed investor you have managed to build a successful mvp you have a first sale but then you say all right we are successful in poland we are going abroad i need another investor which is going to finance that that initial agreement will be burned because the whole company will change because everything will will have to be set up from from the beginning um, creating a standard standardized term sheet would would allow us to concentrate on business rather than on playing a smart ass with the with the legal documents and of course those standards must be set set as a joint effort of vcs entrepreneurs and uh, even market regulators like parp or, or, or the other thing so so i think uh, once again you can treat that as a speed up declaration to take part of that even if if, if there are some money needed to hire a proper proper uh, a law firm to, to create that standard we will try to talk to everyone who is necessary and everyone who who would be interested in creating in creating such a things so it took me 40 minutes as i uh, as i thought it's going to take me if you have any questions uh, now it's the time unfortunately i won't be able to stay here very long after the after the, the lecture at 10 o'clock uh, I, I need to be in poznan so if you have a question now now it's a good time we've got about five minutes so let's start oh we got more <laughs> but I, I i won't be able to discuss it in detail with you there's my email over there if if not uh, it's it's no there's not it's 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 bartlomi.gola at speedupgroup.com so you I'm, I'm sure you can easily find find my, my my data if you have any questions please write please please drop me a line i'm sorry about all the people i didn't meet especially you but i hope we we will stay in touch and then but if you have a so so what's your opinion who have ever signed a term sheet or investment agreement and what was your problems i mean do you agree with that or not maybe you don't you don't think it's a real issue maybe it's just our pain in the ass all right it's late i know <laughs> Uh, because uh, there are many opportunities to invest in company, for example, convertible debt, as you mentioned. And could you tell me what is the difference between giving, selling a shares, let's say, to investor, and, and uh, convertible debt with a cap? Because when, I mean, for me, when an investor specifies a cap for a convertible debt, it's like it's like making evaluating your company and a lot of people say that do convertible debt because you know you just avoid evalu it's, it's hard to evaluate your company but the cap does exactly this All right so so a convertible debt debt is something which is taken from from the from the american market and it's probably very widely used then to to finance seed companies and it's it you know the the, the fundament of that was was pretty wise let's skip the discussion about how much money is worth your idea if we are able to go to the next 
phase where the professional investor is going to evaluate your idea, like, I don't know, the fund or somebody else, then we will convert the debt, the initial investment, to the, to the equity. It's, it's, uh, I think it's very rare in Poland, very, very rare in Poland. It's, 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 it's purely American structure, but you're... <laughs> You are right. American investor says it is convertible debt with the value determined later, but I got a cap. And cap means that I that I'm, I I will not convert at the valuation higher than. So so if you are lucky enough to get the next investor with the higher valuation, the first go gets to the to the uh, gets the shares with the lower valuation. So it's you're right. It's something like that. Um, Yeah, but it's a, it, it's it's a little bit easier, especially for those fun, for, for those founders who be, founders who believe that they got like billion dollar idea, like it's the next Google, and they want to have that valuation from the very beginning. So the founders say, let's skip it. But of course, as a as a premium for me who who, who believed in you first, let's say the, let the cap it's five million dollars or something like that. But it's it, it it's not white. I'll be very delicate. It's not widely used in Poland. <laughs> It's, it's almost never used in Poland. O also because there are so many public money distributed by the funds and um, the public money requires in investing in, 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 in shares. We, in our KFK fund, we can invest up to 20% in the debt. But it's, it is a kind of convertible debt, but uh, not, not with the cap. It's, a, it's, a, it's rather a normal debt. Are there any questions? Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you.